When I heard Von say out his own mouth after they jumped on him, every who touched me gonna die on that thing. And Mo just coming up like the Reaper. You hear me? Like for real. He was over there torturing them guys, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Hey, hey look, some people need to be gone, bro, in order for to get better. And he one of them. I ain't gonna lie to you. He one of them, man. Whatever he say, he mean it, man. Von is like that. Like, can't nobody um try to downplay his shit or none of that, bro. He like that. And if Von was here right now, and I got on live and say, Von, you a pussy. You ain't like that. All right, oh, wait till I catch you. Like, it's a good thing, man, that they gone, bro. Like, they was down here just taking people, bro. For no reason, bro. What's good, YouTube? Clip Station here, back with another video. Today, I just wanted to talk with you guys real quick about the crash out of the Chirac top hitter, top demon, King Von. Now, I know people might not class King Von as a crash out, but when you really think about it, the whole situation was kind of a crash out situation. Let's talk about it. Von had overcome a lot of obstacles, obstacles most people don't make it out of, a lot of them. First and foremost, he survived one of the most dangerous places in America, Chirac. From the way King Von was obviously living, it's a very high possibility. He had many near-death experiences growing up in the cold streets of the south side of Chicago. Despite living in a war zone and being rumored to have hurt a lot of people, King Von remained unharmed. He lived his whole life in a city that is known for gun violence. But the only time he was the victim of this was the night he lost his life, which took place in Atlanta, Georgia. Von was different. Mm. Like, what happened to Von? Ain't nothing happening to Von. I done been shot twice. A lot of our guys done been shot. Everybody, ain't shit happening to Von. Better know it, because he different. Yeah. There was crimes known publicly about him where he literally beat trials involving unaliving and attempting to unalive people where he could have been lost in the system and never being known at all. Just another shy rat gang member locked away for the rest of his remaining years. King Von overcame all these trials and tribulations and nearly made it to the highest levels of success in the rap game on his way to being a potential great in the rap industry. One decision to underestimate another man and beat him up because of some potential disrespect and a bruised ego, everything he overcame and all the traction he made was all threw away. This to me is an ultimate crash out. And don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of Vaughn's music and his story. This is why it bothers me that this is the way it went for him, especially because it could have all been prevented if pride and ego wasn't a factor, a one second decision that costed him an amazing successful life. He literally made it out of hell on earth to a life most people dream of. What do you guys think? Crash out or he did what he was supposed to do and it just went wrong? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Clip Station out.